Marcello News. Now, you can send selfies and pics. October 27, 2014, Zello, the well-known walkie-talkie app for Android, iPhone, iPad, and Windows is highly regarded all over the world as a simple, reliable push-to-talk push communication device that lets you exchange real-time voice messages free of charge with any other Zello user using only internet data, not your precious cell phone minutes. Now, although none of us here at AskMrWizard.com have any affiliation with Zello and they don't pay us for promotion or endorsement, we have been using it extensively for almost a year now, and we really like it. We use it in group mode a lot to share news with our family, and we also use it casually in person-to-person -person direct mode just to send quick inquiries and responses. Now, a couple of days ago, while updating to the latest version of Zello, we noticed that they've added an important new feature. Now, we can send and receive images right in our conversations. This adds an important new dimension, and it's compelling, to the quick, easy, dynamic dialogues and audio crowd blogs, or Zello channels, that are so simple to manage with Zello. Now, those conversations and crowd blogs can include selfies and other pics from participants. Anybody using the newest version of Zello can press a single new button, looks like a little camera right here, and gain instant access to the camera or cameras on their cell phone, tablet, or other device hosting Zello. A full screen view from the selected camera pops up along with prominent buttons to allow snapping a picture or, or changing your camera options. In short, it works exactly like you'd expect an easy camera app to work. Immediately after capturing a picture, you're given a chance to delete or accept it. Accepted pictures are quickly compressed for optimal internet transmission across the Zello internet connection. And the recipients hear a polite little chirp indicating arrival of a new pic. They typically receive the picture within three or four seconds. Each online recipient also sees a bright, a bright red new icon at the top of their Zello screen that they can press to see the resulting picture. Offline recipients can, of course, see it later at their leisure. That icon contains a numeric digit. It's a 1 if there's just a single new picture, or it's a 2 or a 3 or a higher number if there are more pictures that they haven't seen yet. Copies of those pictures are stored on the phones or tablets of the sender and of all the recipients, alongside all of the previous audio messages and pictures that have ever been seen in that conversation. So you can scroll back in that list and see all the pictures. Online or offline recipients can easily review the entire record of each message and the picture in the entire conversation, and that dialogue stretches back to the beginning of time unless they've deleted older messages from a simple list that's organized in chronological order. The list shows each message along with a little picture of the sender and um, a text notation of their Zello username, an arrow indicating whether the device sent or received the corresponding image, text showing the exact date and time of receipt, text indicating the duration of any audio messages, and a thumbnail image of any picture in the dialogue. Pressing any of these thumbnails takes you to full screen mode to show the resulting picture. And you can double tap on it to zoom in and scroll in and out, or you can just uh, flick the, the picture up and down to see the next or prior one in the sequence. The entire experience is convenient and intuitive, and it encourages participants to interleave pictures with descriptive audio snippets in a very natural and intuitive manner. It, it just works. Give it a try. Zello is free for non-commercial use. It was already one of the most popular communicating apps in the Android store, and with this new addition, I, I think it's going to find a vast new audience and lots of new applications among people that want to share vacations or, uh, or just photographic experiences or news with their, with their friends or with groups or when you're trying to um, renew old acquaintances or start new ones. Furthermore, if you want to email or preserve the pictures, you can find them in your file system. On Android systems, you'll find them by drilling into SD card slash Zello slash history. Beneath that number, you'll see a cryptic new folder with a number on it. Drill through that and then right there you'll see a folder called images that have all the images there. Give it a try. Once you've found those images, of course, then you can copy them out, email them, or send them to other, other people. Uh, 
The app itself gives you the option to delete pictures. It's just, just a really easily managed, well done, well done thing. Now, there are other resources here at AskMrWizard.com about Zello. Please join us there. You can look at the bottom of your YouTube image and just below the YouTube movie, there are some prominent links. If you click on those, it'll take you right to our resources. Or if you look at the top of the screen, scrolling across the top, you'll see the uh, URLs where you can go and join us here at AskMrWizard.com. We have lots of hints about how to use Zello more powerfully and some more images you may want to look at. Thank you. We really appreciate your support. We really do.